everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. Today I thought that I would go ahead and um, I'm going to be working on a 20 by 20 canvas and this is a commission piece and I um, decided since it was a commission piece and I know that she will watch the video that I would go ahead and mix my paints. I, I will do the first one with you and then I will speed up so that you can see um, the end result with the paints. So today, um, the colors that um, have been asked for a flower pop, a 20 by 20, we are going to be using, um, I love this chalk paint. If you watch my video, Cashmere, I use the chalk paint in that was ballet slipper and it was just beautiful. I actually am going to experiment with a pearl pour with that very soon. So we've got, it's by Waverly. I picked it up at Walmart. Um, I think you can get them anywhere. Um, but this is the color and it's called, um, this one, it's probably on the cap, is pool like swimming pool, okay? And then the next one we're going to be doing is um, Mondo Llama, and this is gonna be Brilliant Butterfly, okay? And then we are going to be bringing a little bit of teal into this. It's gonna be the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic in Teal. And I have a little bit, so I'm gonna drizzle this on the top. This is Aqua Flash by Color Shift. And then I also am going to be swiping with Mondo Llama's Mythical Unicorn. That's going to be my swipe color. Um, I typically do not measure, but I'm going to do that for the sake of this video. Um, I've gotten to where I used to measure, but you get used to the, you know, how much you need. I'm going to slide this up so that you can see my scale. I'm going to turn it on and we'll go ahead and set our cup and then we'll hit tar, tear, and get it back to zero. Um, zero. I guess it wants to be funny with me. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm using Floetrol in this um, application today. Let's see. And I put pantyhose like everybody does over there. Um, over the top to strain it. So typically what I'm going to do is I, I don't like separating these bottles and I like these little two ounce bottles because then I can do five ounces of Floetrol and a whole bottle of paint. And if I'm doing two paints, I can make a smaller amount. But in this situation, because the bottle is, there we go, five ounces of Floetrol. I'm sure you can see that. And then this little bottle is two. So five ounces of Floetrol, two ounce paint. And I'm doing that because I don't like to use a half of one of these little bottles. So any of the bottles that are two ounces, it works perfect um, to make a double batch. And if you're doing a big canvas, you might, you might use it all. And I just kind of get all of this out. And this chalk paint's a little thicker, but I do um, take a squirt bottle and I, I squirt water. Actually, I'm gonna pour some pour some water into the bottle because this is pretty thick and then I'm going to shake it put the cap on shake it really well and then I'm going to pour that in and it's going to be more but that's okay because we'll probably add water anyway okay so we use that whole bottle okay and another little tip, when I am done with a bottle, if I like the color, I will put a star or a heart on the bottom, and then I throw it in this box, you'll see right here, 
And these are the colors I ran out of. You'll see here's my Sparks Butterfly Spells by Art Alchemy. I have a heart, that means I love it. And I keep this under my desk and I throw it in there after I'm done, if I like the color. And that way I know what I need to reorder. And sometimes I'll even put the video number on there. Okay, so we're just gonna stir this up. And this color is very um, light. It's a very light, light blue. You can see how light that is, I love it. And it's a chalk paint, so there's not, not a lot of color to it. And when it dries, it's a very matte finish. So that's why I said we didn't know if we were going to um, resin it or not, because sometimes with the matte finish, it's nice to leave it that way. And I just keep mixing until it's all the way mixed. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's do the next one. To get your Mondo Llama, which is a little bit thinner, not much, all I did was I have a little bit, I'm gonna show you here, of gel medium. This is regular gel medium. And I'm, I have some in a bottle, it says in the bottle, gel with water. And I go ahead and I add that to thicken it up. And, um, if it needs a lot of thickness, if it's real runny, maybe you added too much water, then you can go ahead and you can um, add mix, which is a, um, let me grab it and show you. This is a pouring medium that I use here. It's very thick, it's amazing, and it'll thicken it up a bit. But it wasn't that far off. So, we have all of our colors. I'm sure you can see them. Pull it up, beautiful. I'm gonna wipe my scale off. The scale is amazing. I keep saying I'm gonna get an Amazon store. Um, but this one's great, I love it. Okay, we'll put that up. Hey, I am set up, we are ready. I am very excited about this color palette. I think it's going to be gorgeous. And just to remind you, we are using a chalk paint in this application. I am going to start, um, I think I'm gonna start with this uh, Mondo Llama. Okay, no rhyme or reason. Okay. And we're gonna go with a little bit of the chalk paint. Go with a little bit of this teal. Okay. 
I am going to drizzle, because remember, we only had a little bit of this color shift. So I'm going to put it in between the layers and see how it does. It's on my buy list. Hmm, okay. Let's go back along this edge. Perfect. A little bit more up here to you. Okay. Chalk paint. And I was worried that this might, this chalk paint might um, sink, and it may. Um, but again, if you check out my video, Cashmere, which it's absolutely gorgeous um, in real life. It really is beautiful. Um, chalk paint just did amazing. And I, I actually bought a large chalk paint that I'm going to be trying on Pearl Pour. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, I'm going to get a couple of my tools. I thought I was prepared over there. I'm going to pull some of this back just a bit. No biggie. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and lay some of this down here, my white, at the top. I'm doing a thick layer. Let's torch. Now I have, in the past, I have went in and I have actually just swiped without even spreading it out on some of my flower pops. The reason for that, let me wait till I'm done torching so you can hear me. Um, the reason for that is because it creates a different background. This is the most important part for my flower pop. I do not care for a lot of cells because you can't see the flowers. The petals aren't as distinct. And um, the reason that I love different backgrounds is because it just gives each one character, makes it easier to name. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna push this up just a tad. I'm gonna move this up just a bit. First, I wanna get some of this paint here on these edges. And again, this Mondo Llama is so thin. I do like swiping with it though. We'll pull it, pull it forward. Okay. Let me wipe my hands off. And I guess what I've decided to do is I am gonna go ahead and um, mix the paints together maybe to help the chalk paint a little bit. Okay, so let's just gently, oh, these colors, I hope she's happy with these colors. Looks pretty so far. So I am, um, about two hours from Virginia Beach and um, so there's a lot of demand for blues in my paintings any painting artwork here um, which I actually want to do a video on that so maybe I'll just save that information for then but blues are very popular in the art world anyway um, but in this area, oh my goodness, everything is blue, ocean and blue. So it makes it easy. This is beautiful. I love these colors. I actually hope I have enough left. I really don't. I was going to do a vase with the leftovers, but... 
you can. All right, I'm just, I like covering my edges. Um, and that's all I'm doing is I'm just going through and leaving no bare edges. Now I have swiped before and there was bare spots. They get covered, but it leaves a gap on the canvas. Um, but again, that is for depth. All right, looks good. Pretty colors, love it. All right, let me torch again. Make sure we don't have any bubbles. And I think I see a goober in my paint. Okay, and this torch is, let's fill her up really quick. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Pretty, very pretty. Okay, so now we have to decide what do we want to um, swipe with. And, um, oh yeah, I can't forget to get that goober out. Let me get my tweezers. Okay, I thought I saw it, yep, right there. Yep, see that? And you wanna get those out while you can if you see them. And if you get down level with the painting and kinda go over, you can see any goobers. Don't want that on my thing. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and swipe. Um, give myself enough room here. And I think I'm going to use, I think for the swipe I'm gonna use um, the thin paper towels today. So those would be from the dollar store. Um, they're not bounty or, you know, they're dollar store brand. They're a lot thinner. You can see through them. It's going to be very close. I've got to be very careful with the pull. I'm using three sheets. I'm going to use a spray bottle and I'm going to dampen the edge. Okay, dampen the edge. And then we gotta make sure, whoop, the corner isn't damp. And what the dampness does, it makes it adhere to the paint a little bit better and, you know, prepares you for the, for the swipe. Um, and this just pulled apart a little bit, so let's hope I can get this in. There we go. Let it set. You can hang it over because we're going to clean up the edges. There we go. Let it settle. And if it doesn't, pull it taut. All right. And we're just going to pull. Now remember, this doesn't... Oh, gosh, I love that. I don't like that this one little spot did that. And that is because I, I didn't have my paper towel good. Hmm. Okay, let's swipe again. No biggie, that's why you make extra. We're gonna swipe one more time. Let's get these bubbles out. This background is what matters. Okay, and I do not get a little bit covered here. See some bare canvas. All right. And I see something in the paint. Get that out. I don't see anything else. See a bubble? Bubble. All right. Let's go ahead and swipe. And this time, I am actually gonna go with something a little bit thicker, and that's gonna be my shop towels. Um, I just think that I wanna make sure, and the shop towel, towels are from Lowe's or Home Depot, they're just these blue towels. I'm gonna dampen the edge. It's 
hard to swipe on these larger canvas with a paper towel. It really is. Um, and you want to hold it taut, and that was what I did wrong on this last swipe. All right, so here we go. Let's dip it in. Get it over the end. Perfect. Okay, that's a good one. Now, you want to let it set a minute, and we want to pull low on this so we cover it all. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Much better. I'm going to do the bubbles. Okay. And then we're going to pour a little bit here again. Because of the bare canvas, we want to run it off. All I'm going to do is now tip it up, and that'll all run off, kind of acts as a, um, I'm just going to rock it, it acts as a flow extender so that we don't have um, thick flowers. Um, we're going to get some of this paint off. Okay, let's bring it back so we have a good background. We're going to go over to this corner. Okay. And we're almost there, almost there, and stop. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that background. Now, I see a goober. Here's my, gotta get my, um, things are in this messiness. Okay, I don't know, one of the paints must have had something in them. All right, so let's go ahead and torch, which is no problem. Oh, this is beautiful. And if you, you know, this is too much information, please feel free to fast forward. I, I just thought that since this was a commission piece, it would be nice to, um, you know, do it so that she can see what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna use this blue on these corners just to cover a little bit. Ooh, not that much. I forget how thin this paint is, no worries. I'm just gonna run my finger down underneath the edge, make sure they're covered. And I did not gesso this canvas, but I do sometimes, and I have a video coming out about gesso. And I don't, um, I am not an expert with it by no means. However, um, I do want to share what I've learned when I gesso my canvas. Okay, so you see a little cell up there in that corner, which is odd, and I don't like it. So I'm just going to tap it um, just because there's no other cells like that on the canvas. Oh my goodness. This one is just gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful colors. Okay, now. I am actually going to move to a flower blowing station and change up so that I can have a clean space. Be right, I maneuvered this around so that you can see me with the flowers. Um, again, I'm actually, instead of doing vertical, I'm going horizontal. I think that, um, and I apologize if you hear my dogs, I think this is beautiful. You could do it either way. I think I'm gonna have it go a different way than I typically do. I'm a little bit nervous. I am actually going to use uh, Modern Masters pre-mix paint to do the petals. So let's get started. I've never used it. We're going to see how it does. Got good old Puffy.
pretty. I thought it would be beautiful and it's just gorgeous. Love it. Okay. So again, I now am going to speed you up when I do the flowers. I will say when I use the puffy, I'm going to show you when, what I do. Um, I do, um, I think I'm going to do a bunch of bouquets all together in this one. So if I do one here and here, all I do when I blow is I blow with it like this, kind of down and out. We'll do this one. But you want the black to push the paint. Okay, I am going to speed this up, put some tunes on and I will be back. See you then. Let's just go along and look at the petals and the flowers. Beautiful. Look at that one. So gorgeous. I know there's a glare. I apologize. Look at this flower here. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. These just turned out so amazing. This one, look at this one. Oh, I love it. And it, it was really cool to do it horizontally, not going with the grain, um, you know, a little bit different. Um, but I do love the effects that the chalk paint has um, with the flower pot. Look at this one, I'm trying to get out of the glare. Just love. This one, bring it up. As you can see all of it. Different style flowers. No two are alike. That's what I love as well. Just beautiful colors. Great. Well, I'm going to let this dry and um, I will show you the dried results. If you enjoyed this video and if you wanted to um, fast forward for the paint mixing, I just thought it was a good time to do that since I've had a lot of questions about how I mix my paints. It is very simple and um, the technique is a lot of fun. Shoot me an email or give me a comment below and if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. Comments, I love hearing from everybody. It's what keeps me going and makes me want to continue to do these flower pops. And all of you that already comment, and you've just been amazing. I appreciate your support. Okay, I'm going to um, let this dry and we will see the dried results. Please take care everybody. Until next time, 